Welcome to interview questions on statistics. Today we are going to see two questions. Let's look at the first one. What is skewness? So basically, when it comes to your data distribution, we generally have distortions which can occur in the distribution of data in real time data, basically. And the two types of distortions you can see would be skewness and kurtosis. So when it comes to skewness, obviously, it is the distortion in the data. And we generally say it as the measure of data distribution's lack of symmetry. So when we th think about a normal distribution, so a normal distribution, we say it as it is symmetric about its mean. But when it comes to skewness, if there is any skewness in the distribution, so the distribution basically lacks symmetry. Or we, could, we generally call it as the data is asymmetric. So it basically does not follow any rules of a normal distribution when there is distortion in the data. And obviously due to this skewness, it is bound to happen that the mean, mid and mod of the distribution will be different. So there will be variation in those values. For a normal distribution, we generally say all the three values are same. And usually a data or a distribution which has skewness, it cannot be used to actually generate a normal distribution. So if there is less skewness, there are chances we can convert it or we can make it into a normal distribution by trying to do some data transformation techniques. But for a skewed data, for highly skewed data, it is very difficult. So how much is the skewness? Is generally identified using certain range of values for skewness. So when we calculate the skewness of the distribution. So if it is between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5, we generally say it as almost skewed data. So still it may look like a normal distribution, but it will have a little bit skewness. And if the skewness is actually more than one or minus one, so then it is called as highly skewed data. So when it comes to your skewness, we can have on both the sides. So on the both the sides in the sense, we can have on both positive side as well as negative side. So if it's, on positive side, we call it as positively skewed data. If it's on negative side, it's called as negatively skewed data. So let's look at your next question. What is the definition of kurtosis? Now, your skewness may be a distortion in the data, but your kurtosis is also a kind of distortion, but it's mostly related to the tail endedness of the distribution. So it's mostly related with the extreme values which you have in the distribution and how they affect the uh, shape of the distribution. So it's basically measure of whether or not a distribution is long tail or short tail. So it's usually caused due to the presence of outliers. So you can say outliers will generally cause kurtosis with the distribution. So we can find outliers mostly with the extreme ends of the distribution. And usually with kurtosis, it is caused due to the tail endedness or any extreme values in the tail side of the distribution. And let's assume if you have a distribution and the data has a lot of skewness or the data has a lot of outliers in it. So then the kurtosis would be a lot higher. And if the kurtosis is actually equal to three, then we say it as a perfect or a normal distribution. There is no outliers and there is no distortion. And yes, if the kurtosis is more than three, then which basically means it has a lot of outliers. And if the kurtosis is less than three, then we can call it as a less, cur less kurtosis or it has very less outliers. Now let's look at some examples for distribution when it comes to your skewness and kurtosis. So let's say this is the distribution of the data. So for a skewed data, you may have a curve a little bit skewed in this form. <clears throat> so this shape, this is called a skewness. This is caused due to the skewness in data. And when it comes to kurtosis, it's usually with respect to your tail endedness. So let's say your kurtosis might be of a different shape with respect to the tail. So you might see a different shape of bell curve. So you might see a very peak 
higher peak in the curve and sometimes you might see a very small peak. So both these conditions are for kurdosis.